Shoo, shoo, shoo. What's up everybody, Billy Cranston here, and we're going to have a mighty Morphin Cosplay Thursday. Shoo. <laughs> What's up guys, Bryce Michael RC here and today is another Cosplay Thursday and this is a very special uh, Cosplay Thursday to me. Now, I really, 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 I know I've said it on a couple of these, but I really, 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 I really, really, really wish I would have done a process video for this, but uh, this is a helmet that I shouldn't have got done in one week and it shouldn't look this good in one week. Uh, I, I did a lot of, there's a lot of staying up late, uh, a lot of just tinkering with this uh, and trying to figure some things out. The back didn't even get printed until like Tuesday of this week. So today's Thursday, it was printed two days ago and finished. And uh, I ended up doing that thing where I matched the two halves. I am going to do the Green Ranger because it's a really popular Power Ranger helmet. And uh, I know I did it for this one, and and I did it for the Red Ranger here. Um, that way it would be kind of seamless on the on the little line there, uh, and wouldn't be a gigantic gap. And I really want to show you guys how that's done. But if you follow me on Instagram, and I'll show some pictures on Instagram of this thing being made uh, right up here. If you follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description. I took a lot of pictures of this as I built it. A lot of pictures. Every time I did anything, I took pictures and posted it on Instagram. I mean, everybody on Instagram saw this from the 3D print all the way up to the finished product. I mean, you can go back through my Instagram and see all the way to the beginning. So you can see this loaded up with Bondo all along here. You can see it after it's sanded down, uh, repainted. You can see it as it's taped and things like that. And and uh, I put little captions and stuff telling you guys what's going on and on and everything. So if you want to kind of learn how to do that, you can you can sit there and uh, look at the Instagram. But I will make a video on that. May I may just make a video on it specifically by itself because it's a really cool thing. And the first time that I did it with the Red Ranger, I didn't do that great of a job. And you can see on this side it kind of uh, overlaps and pops out. It's really just not that great. This one was a little bit harder because I had to match up the lines on the top to still go to the back after. Because when you load it up with Bondo, oh, and there's like a big gap in the top. Um, once you load it up with Bondo all along the top, then you have to go back in and sand in those lines and stuff. And this is the first time I ever tried it right here. Now this is the second time. And I mean, when I did it with the Red Ranger, that's the first time I ever tried it. Like, just tried it. You know, and, and I did a pretty decent job. Second time here I think was a lot, a lot, a lot better. So, this is a special print to me. A very, very special print to me. It's going to be only the second one that I've done that there's not going to be a link in the description because this one is not a Thingiverse helmet. This is one that somebody, out of the goodness of their heart, after watching the Red Power Ranger review video, uh, I said on there, I'll put... You guys can see right here the video. Um, I was talking about the Blue Ranger and how much the Blue Ranger was my favorite Ranger as a little kid because it, this this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers came out like over twenty some years ago, back when I was like I think I was like uh, eight or nine or something like that when Power Rangers came out and everybody loved Tommy. 
uh, when before Tommy, everybody loved Jason, and so every, all the kids wanted to play as either the Red Ranger or the Sixth Ranger. Nobody ever called Billy. So I always knew that I could play Billy the Blue Ranger when I was playing with everybody else and nobody would care. Uh, and so Billy became my favorite and I watched the Power Rangers like crazy. I owned a Sega game of the Power Rangers and stuff like that and I was always the Blue Ranger. So this is a very special helmet to me. Ever since I was a kid, 20 some odd years ago, I've wanted to I've wanted a Blue Ranger helmet. I remember as a kid just thinking, man, I would love to have one of those so much. Uh, but I Thingiverse didn't have a good one. It had a uh, it had a low definition one that had a lot of straight edges like uh, the Boba Fett, but the, it wasn't a good one. Not a good enough one in full detail. Uh, and plus, the mouth just wasn't all that great. And this is an important feature. Uh, I noticed after I did the Red Ranger that the mouth was very, very important, very important for it to look good. When you have a low definition helmet and the mouth is made out of straight edges and stuff, I thought, man, that that is going to be hard to get perfect. And if I'm going to make the Blue Ranger, after making the Red Ranger, the mouth kind of needs to match up. A guy named Chris commented on the Red Ra on the Red Ranger video, said, "I have the Blue Ranger file and it's really good, and uh, I want to send it to you." And so he emailed me this file here. So he just sent me this and basically said, I hope you have fun making the helmet that you've wanted for so long. And I did. I did. Had a lot of fun. And he, uh, he followed along the entire time on Instagram and liked pictures and commented on pictures and stuff. So, uh, man, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate this file. Uh, if, if, if I could, I would, guys. YouTube, if I could, I would. I would put this available on uh, Thingiverse or something because the the ones, the Blue Rangers that are available on Thingiverse are not this good, this detailed, and this correct. I mean, when it comes to this part right here, just this part, or uh, the lines and things like that, the other ones, they're just, I, I look through them, they're just not, they're not that great. So... I really, really appreciate this. They got one on Thingiverse that's close, close, and you can look through Thingiverse, they got one that's real close, uh, but the mouth, like I said before, isn't correct. Uh, so, I really hope that they get this on Thingiverse sometime, a really, really good one. I'm not sure if they will. I can't put it on there because it's not my file, like I said uh, on the last file. Uh, I can't do these types of videos without people who create these things and so I can't release the file to this to everybody for free because uh, it's one of them that you can buy. Uh, but I will leave right up here where you can go get one of these exact helmets where you can, I think where the, the best one is that you can find a 3D print. The one of the best one is. You, I'll leave a link. So uh, you can go there and kind of check it out and stuff. But anyways, let's show you guys the file. Here it is here. I'm going to do one slow turnaround. All the way around. God, this thing was so much fun to build. As I'm turning this around, I'm just thinking of it. I love these that have tons of different colors to it. Alright, for the blue here, it's called Gloss True Blue. It's called, uh, it's called Gloss True Blue. It's made from Krylon. Color Master Paint and Primer. Uh, this you can find at Walmart for about $3.96 right here. So that's what I used on there. Like all the silver that I use, this is the, the brilliant silver here. And then this is called King's Gold. It's more of a yellow, goldish color. It's perfect. It's the exact color that uh, is on the original helmet. I swear. <laughs> I swear it's the exact color. And this is just a Rust-Oleum paint and primer here, white that goes along uh, the outside here. And if you see these lines here, they look like they're so perfect because they are. These are, uh, actually went and got pin striping tape where it comes with a, a bigger one and a thinner one. Uh, right there, two different types of pin stripe. And I think you're supposed to put both of these on a car at the same time. But this gives you the option, basically, to use one of the, use one and waste the other, uh, or <laughs> use both of them. You know what I mean? So, I put the pin striping around the mouth, 
and I put the pinstriping around the white part that goes here. Uh, lucky for me, the indentions here were just big enough that I could get a small paintbrush, put black on the end of it, and just put it in and follow along, and I didn't have any, you know, if it came out, you could just take a, a thing and wipe it off and stuff. So, did a really good job. Of course, it does open up like a Power Ranger helmet. And up top is the hinge right there that I created. And I showed everybody the hinge on the Red Ranger helmet. So that is available on Thingiverse. If you're making a, a Power Ranger helmet and you want a half it to open like a Power Ranger helmet, uh, that hinge is available. What it does is it allows it to go forward so it breaks apart and then pops out. So that way the back never touches the front. So you don't get all these chips and stuff up in the top and middle. I did figure out that I need to make a new one because it's it's uh, it's not a very good one and it's real tiny and it's it's only like three prong and all this different stuff so I mean it's the first gen version of it. I just kind of whipped it up on Tinkercad uh, and then used it and now it's into Power Ranger helmets. It might be in a third one because the guy who sent me this um, also asked for the hinge, so he might have used it. I'm not exactly sure. He can leave a comment, and I'm sure he's going to watch this video. Uh, this is the only part that's not accurate. Uh, the hinge is right here on the sides. It doesn't have them. I like the sleek look. I really do, and it may be uh, non-film accurate. It might be non-cosplay accurate. Uh, but I just love the sleekness to it, especially, um, I want to take this and make a mold out of it. And I want to make, um, I want to make it again. Because I had so much fun with this. I, I just want to make a mold out of it and do it again. Because there's a lot of things that I kind of missed. A, a lot of things that I, I want to kind of see if I can touch up and make perfect. Uh, so I figured if I put the hinges on it, that would transfer over to a mold. So I decided to leave them off and do what I did with the, uh, Red Ranger and make it sleek. Also on top of that, this is 3D printed plastic and so I thought if I added a hinge to it, uh, it wouldn't, it, it could bust the plastic in areas and things like that. Uh, and so that was the two reasons why I really didn't do it and I put the magnets in. So I put magnets down at the bottom so it would line up and then I put magnets at the top because it, since this has the hinge that pops out like that, if you put magnets at, if you don't put magnets at the top, then the bottom will go together, but the top won't. And so if you put magnets along the top, it'll actually close the top. So, you know, automatically by itself. So even if it had hinges on the bottom, it'd probably help it match up a lot better on the bottom. Uh, but I'd still probably add magnets in the top or something. I was, I was, that's another reason why I want to update a Gen 2 hinge is because I want to put it to where you can put, uh, I want to make it to where you can put springs in it. So um, one side will have springs where it'll shove the two halves together. Uh, rather, you know, because you, when you pull it and then pull it apart, basically when you don't have any muscle onto it, it'll automatically push it back forward and close with springs. That's what I want to do, but I'll figure it out. Uh, this was made with Blue Solotech PLA, uh, and it only took a couple days to print. You can see just how thin uh, of a helmet that is. Very, very, very thin. If you look at like the Anarchy cosplay helmets, uh, not this, not this thin. I mean, and if I make a copy of this, a mold, I'm going to make it a lot thicker too. Uh, this right here is that plastic stuff that I typically put in my helmets, and I tinted it. Uh, this it doesn't fit the right size. I'm actually ordered some acrylic, uh, so I'm gonna actually replace this. So for now, for now I just left it in and then I glossed it while while the visor was actually in here. And so you can see how the gloss on the visor matches the gloss on the helmet. Uh, you can't really see out of this. You can, but you can't that well at all, like at all. So. When I had it on, I couldn't really see. I had to come way up here to see if the record was on and stuff. So. 
<laughs> Sorry that I'm having this out just a little bit later at night. Uh, I had I got home from picking up my kids today, and I had a very very bad very bad migraine. My daughter had a basketball game to get today, uh, of which I'm the coach of. So I, as soon as I got home, I went to bed to to take a nap and and kind of see if that cleared up my migraine. I uh, got up to go take her to to basketball, and it came back. So I came back home and went back to bed, and I just woke up. Uh, it's like. 10 o'clock, so I'm going to try to get this edited in two hours and still get it out by Thursday, because this was done by Thursday. I got this thing done in one week. Can you guys believe that? This is crazy. This is the fastest I've gotten. I'm usually like two weeks behind. Usually this video is being made two weeks after, and I'm already working on something else. You know, I'm already printing something else while I'm making this. And uh, this was printed, and I mean... This wasn't done printing. The front wasn't even done printing, I don't think, when the last cosplay thir Thursday was out. Um, well, no, I showed you guys the front, and it had just been primered, uh, but that came out late, and uh, that had just been primered. Like, the front only was just put together and primered and stuff, so... Anyways, follow me on Instagram, guys, so you guys can see this thing put together. When, I'm, when I make, now that this is going to be the third... Uh, when I make the Green Ranger, it will be the third Power Rangers helmet that I've made. Uh, and so I'm pretty comfortable with how these are made and how this is done. And I really want to make that video. Uh, and so I will make a process video for that. Uh, but if you have any questions about this, make sure that you go to Instagram and look through the pictures and ask me any questions you want. Send me an email or something. Uh, another thing too, guys. Remember... I'm giving helmets away. I need to get some space on my shelf. There's absolutely no space. Uh, so I'm giving helmets away for Patreon supporters. I'm going to pick a specific date. Okay? I'm going to pick a specific date. And then a dollar is, a, is an entry. A dollar, one dollar is one entry. Five dollars is five entries. Ten dollars is ten entries. Okay? So forth and so on. And so I'm going to pick a date here very soon. And we're going to give away these first ones up here. Hell, I might even throw in the Iron Man ones in that first round. So basically, if you win, when the day comes up, if you win, you'll get to pick one. One of the, the first three. And maybe the Iron Mans will be thrown in there. Uh, but you'll get to pick which one you want. And then the next round will be all the Infinity Stones with the Arc Reactor and... All that stuff, that'll be the second round. And then the third round, we'll start getting into some of these more experienced uh, cosplay builds and things. Uh, this one's not going to ever be given away. Ever. Ever. I mean, that is... Whew, I love it. I've been waiting for one of these for over 20 years. So, I'm not going to be giving this one away. Anyways, uh, i got to get... I gotta get to bed. I gotta work in the morning. My name is Bryce Michael RC. Thanks for checking this out. Another Cosplay Thursday 3D build. Uh, this is a 3D print if you can't believe it. It is 100% a 3D print. And uh, <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification button. And I will see you guys later. It's more fun.